What is going on? I'm Zeb Mott, and we are going to get into some great, great Warships stuff. First and foremost, though, code Zeb Mott in that shop. One day left. I'm going to renew it. I know I harp on you guys, but you guys have been so good about putting code Zeb Mott in there. So thank you so much. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Keeps the channel rocking and rolling. Now, we are in rank 20. I jumped into six engine rooms, did a bit of an unusual seeker path. Uh, no boom cannons, which is standard for seekers, but here's where things get a little bit wonky. Most seeker players went up through bullet, and if you can avoid the cryoneers, this is a better path. This is a better, better, better path, because A, you avoid those cry in ears and B, you give yourself access to building health. So do consider going that route if you're thinking about using seekers and you haven't gotten there yet. Uh, but for me, I just went straight bottom path, just absolute straight line. And this is where I deviated a little bit. Most players who have seekers have gone for that building health. I just fizzled too often. And so I went and got troop health. And let me show you the kind of times that I was getting over the weekend. So this is just silliness. Like, check this out. 325, 320, 320, 322, 321. Uh, fizzle, of course. 328, and then into 323 and 322. But mixed in there, of course, were a few fizzles. And those fizzles were what was keeping me out of rank 20 and higher. So the troop health definitely helped. Uh, my fastest time yesterday is not in my log, unfortunately. This is where I got troop health right here. So uh, you see there just five straight wins. Do recommend getting that troop health if you're struggling a little bit with Seekers. My fastest time so far is three minutes 31. You can see that I've slowed down a little bit though. And I'm gonna show you how I got into rank 20. This one is a little bit embarrassing. I'm gonna sh not show you the results. We're just going to jump right into the attack. Now, this is a standard base. Should be 320 at the worst. Uh, you'll notice they've got the shock launcher at the front. They've got that second shock launcher there. And then it ends up, the whole reason for this shock launcher setup is that this fires this way and then this shock launcher fires that way. So you end up with two zones where your seekers can just get stuck either there or there. And so the easy solution to this is anytime they have those shock launchers like that, I barred out that shock launcher. And then all of your seekers come around and they ignore it and it's an easy dub. So we're just gonna follow our seekers as per usual. Um, you know what, that did not work. The drawings did not work. So uh, for these ones, I dropped two, I dropped one on the left first, and then I dropped two on the right, and the right ones arrived first. I threw some critters back there to distract things, threw a shock out, and then this engine room gets cleared, and then you leave, and this engine room gets cleared. So as soon as that gets cleared, you drop your seekers on the right, they come around, we bart out that bottom shield gen, and then finally all of our troops come around. They skip that bottom shock launcher there and then they get into here and it's just easy at this point. Just absolute easy cruise and we use the rest of our gunboat energy on that back engine room. And then I put my phone down and then I went looked up and it was still going and I went, actually at this point I hadn't even noticed yet. I looked up at this point expecting to see rank 20 popping up and then went, oh crap. And so I still had plenty of GBE here as you'll see in a second. Uh, I finally realized that I screwed this up in a giant, giant way right about now. Where's the barrage? Anyways, you get the idea. Still by the absolute skin on my teeth, opponent clearly did not have a good attack Maybe they, maybe that is a good attack. I don't know. But the bottom line, we won by one second, getting into 20 by the absolute stupidest of methods. But uh, we are going to get away from Seekers. Apparently, I'm back on the global top 500. Uh, HLY, we got three players in New Zealand in Diamond. I definitely need to get off my butt and get into Diamond. But I got bigger issues. And the bigger issue is that this account is still in rank 6 Yes, it has been up into 17, but no higher. And the reason for that is it is on team tanks, just tanks all day long. We've got boom cannons. We went up and got that early prototype, which is the damage amplifier. We've got lots and lots of dirtiness, but we finally, 
finally, finally have the keys to go get Rocket Choppas. Now, I have done a total of zero Rocket Choppa attacks this season. We are going to get our shocks upgraded. Uh, do we have any GBE back here? Probably should get some of that GBE upgraded as well. Not sure that I should have gotten my shocks to tick four. Probably should have gotten those GBEs up, but like I said, I'm not fully thinking at this point. So we're going to get all of these guys loaded. Yes, we have Kavon, but as a smart person once said, Kavon can get shot in the face just as well as Bullet can. Okay, let's get in. Now, everyone that I've seen that has Rocket Choppas has jumped straight to diamond essentially. So I sort of assume that this account is going to get to diamond before my seeker account. Also, it looks like a lot, a lot of fun playing these things. Just need to figure out what order we're going to do things. And I think we can just Bart out that front shield or front engine room. However, it does have that extra 10%, which is going to put it over three barrage, I think. So uh, we're just going to go towards the left hand side and see how this goes. That front one is probably going to be a giant, giant problem for me, but I don't think we're going to have to use all that many shocks here because our critters are going to keep on critterin let's throw a shock about there just to try to keep many 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 of our troops alive uh, i have seen many 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 attacks with these things and it's just straight up eight boats no splitting just sending them in all of the right directions and waiting and watching so there goes those critters uh, we're gonna throw a shock there because we want to keep those critter dudes rocking and rolling we've already lost one of these things um, this is not going as swimmingly as I would have hoped you know what let's just throw a flare forget this noise Let's throw that old kamikaze there, and then we will throw a smoke in behind them and throw a flare back there, and that should be enough to get all of our barrages and all of our dudes. Uh, this is not going to be fast, unfortunately. That is about as bad as it could go. 254, but on the plus side, our base is pretty darn strong, so that attack is definitely not going to get us towards diamond, but I think we should be able to win and move forwards. So 240 versus 254. Dirty base standing up. Way, 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 way more fun and fast and interesting than tanks. I can't even believe I lasted with tanks this long. Um, This just looks like a straight ahead, straight through kind of thing. So uh, all eight down here, and then we can throw this back in there. Got some critters to distract some things. We can shock all of this stuff, and I'm just going to keep on full clearing. There's no reason why we're not, because it looks like we've got all of this stuff back here under control. Critters coming out, and why did that boom cannon not turn towards... Uh-oh, that's a barrage, not a shock. That I do that so many times, it is ridiculous. I do not recommend throwing a barrage instead of a shock. You will have bad, bad, bad successes, but as you can see here, we should still be able to sneak our way through all of this stuff. Gonna throw one smoke out there a little bit early, and then we can just go all the way. Uh, we're gonna get above three minutes by the skin of our teeth, I do believe, slowly but surely getting better. And compared to Seekers, like the fact that you're just all eight boats at once makes this far more manageable. You're not dropping critters over here and throwing a shock over here and a barrage back here. So uh, this base also, the fact that I actually have some defenses, like this account has boom cannons and mortars, I guess the other one has mortars too. So I think I've got boom cannons, microwaver, damage amplifier. By the way, da don't get the damage amplifier. Basically, everyone has the sky shield. You know what? We're gonna get a. Are we gonna get a fizzle here? I would love to see a fizzle. It is amazing. Come on, shoot Kavon first. Yes, perfect. Uh, we might just get ourselves a fizzle here, my friends. That cannon shooting away at that damage amplifier not doing itself any favors. And now. Just need that tank to step into the range. There we go. Uh, I would love, love, love it. So I um, have not seen many fizzles this season. And 
while we wait for King West here, um, my other account is cruising up. We have gotten this far. And now we start to get into that question of, do we go for seven engine rooms or eight? And that is vital because once you go seven, if you have the deck that you want, you're going to have problems because if everyone goes eight, because you don't want to change that decking. So do stay tuned for that information as well. Need to reach out to some smart people in the community and see what they're thinking. Uh, let's check that leaderboard. I don't think there's anyone Oops, by the way, if you want to get your leaderboard to the top, just start scrolling. We've got our first legendary player, Glory, with one, two, three, four, five engine rooms and boom cannons and a microwaver and a sky shield. So dirty, dirty base at the five engine room level. Oh, sorry, is that sorry, six engine room level, I should say. I think I've sorry, I just forgot what number I counted to. Just to show you where I'm at this morning. Uh, what are you at? One, two, three, four, five. I assumed it was six, but I think I only counted to five. And uh, if you are on Team Tank, Rocket Choppas will make things better, as you saw there. So where do we need to go? We're going to go all on. We're going to go all up this right hand side. Don't need to do anything as far as waiting uh, this stuff is just going to all go down and then we can just keep popping critters over into this neighborhood and waiting and watching and shouldn't have to shock anything. All of those critters should be all good. And then we just, uh, see, timings are just not quite there for me yet. Definitely, definitely had the shock on the ready but just did not get it out. And now need to get one more out. Kavon can give us some troops, which are going to do basically nothing for us. Uh, let's start throwing all those barrages down there and we'll just let all of our troops go towards that top bit. We can throw a flare there and a shock there and should be far faster. And by the way, the only losses I had yesterday on time with Seekers were against Rocket Choppas. So I should be far faster. Like I, I've seen Rocket Choppas getting, I think my 322 with Seekers yesterday got beat by a 326 by Rocket Choppas. So don't take this as any indication of the speed possibilities with Rocket Choppas. As you've seen, my attacks have been getting faster. I think I got like 15 seconds faster every single attack. So as I start to figure out these bases, uh, we will get faster and faster, as will you guys. 252 with tanks. Uh, 254 with rocket choppas don't get to see the time because our opponent fizzled and now we're into three minutes nine i think we were like 301 302 so progressing every single attack do go get rocket choppas if you've been thinking about it they are a lot lot of fun and most of the players on the leaderboard are either using seekers or rocket choppas laser rangers i don't know if anyone up high with has gotten there with laser rangers or not but uh, lots and lots of good things to be done here. So, like I said, my attacks are going to be crap here. So uh, don't take my attacks as an indication of how good they are. We're going to throw some critters back there and a shock about there. There we go. Getting that shock out on time for once in my life. Getting all of the shocks out, probably using too much gunboat energy here, but need all of the DPS we can possibly have just to make sure that we're moving in the right direction. I kind of want a kamikaze once we get past this. And I like using the word kamikaze flare when you're using uh, zookas or heavies or something, just not quite as accurate as when you use it using these beautiful, beautiful planes. So we are just gonna go, just absolutely flying across all of this stuff, literally and figuratively, getting all of our troops back there and still getting faster. So 311 should be far, far faster, but Seeker players are gonna be slow against my base, so don't have to worry about them. And I gotta say, once I figured out on my Seeker account that I'm faster than basically 95% of Seeker players. Uh, I didn't have to worry about going so fast. That made all the difference in the world. So knowing that you're fast with Rocket Choppas takes a little bit of the pressure off. And we are still up against Bombardier players. 
and uh, there are there is at least one bombardier player. I think it's Ken Dog. I think his name is uh, sitting in like rank 22 with bombardiers. So if you're a bombardier player, there are answers for that as well. I believe the answer is full full defensive. So we've got what's that? Three or four different metas that are all working. I am very very impressed with this season so far. I don't think there are any major hiccups in it. Uh, the main base is a little bit different story, obviously. Uh, victory points and things. Uh, finally, I have gotten that collect warship chests over the weekend. I assume you guys have as well, depending on what rank you're in, I do suppose. But that's an easy, easy chest to get. And I have yet to buy the boom pass on any of my accounts. So the boom pass, uh, if you're going to buy it, I would highly recommend buying it early in the season because those rewards right in there, those you get double rewards from the missions. So the fact that this is giving 50 of those artilleries, you get 100 if you get the boom pass. So it's probably smartest to get the boom pass on day one. And those skins are so, 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 so good. Uh, I just got to figure out which account I want to put it on. Both that Quintagon, which I, obviously the Pentagon uh, jokes involved, and that right there. That is so, so good. I absolutely love that skin. Anyways, I am Zedmot. Thank you for coming in, liking, sharing, subscribing, most importantly, commenting, and then just below that, throwing code ZMOT in your creator boost. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of a leg up on the competition, or it entertained you, or distracted you, or something. So uh, I shall talk to you tomorrow. As always, thank you for coming in. I'm ZMOT. Peace.